Hello YouTube friends. Welcome to part six, the final episode of my series on raising seahorses. Today we're focused on feeding them. Here you're going to see a lot of the young hunting for copepods, isopods, and amphipods, which live in the macroalgae and microalgae. And I honestly think that's what helps transition the babies from the fry tank to the 300 gallon tank. There they are hunting and they have a constant supply of food at their size. I also add two or three times a day frozen mysis. I buy the flat packs of BioPure Hikari and also PE mysis. This happens to be the small size version, but sometimes I buy the larger ones. Usually I'll break apart pieces and add them to a glass container, which is easy to clean and glass does not absorb bacteria in the way that plastic does. I add cool water to soak the mysis in. I add three drops of Celcon, which is a saltwater fatty acid, and it is an immune booster for the seahorses. I also add Vitachem, which not only has vitamins in it, but it does have some healing qualities as well as immune boosting qualities. And here is a concentrated garlic liquid. I aim for adding one drop. Not only does it make the food more attractive by the smell to the seahorses, but it also is a natural antiparasitic. So I add those ingredients and I let the whole mixture sit so it defrosts and then I rinse it with cool water before adding it to the aquarium. Here it is, and you can see the feeding frenzy start. Now the babies that are in there, all different sizes, yes, they are eating the live foods, but it doesn't take them long to also start eating the frozen mysis. Erectus fry are naturally curious and start eating frozen right away. I do recommend if you can supplement with live foods at least once a month for their gut health. I recommend cleaning equipment very well after use to keep down bad bacteria in the tank. And that's my feeding process. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.